And so, so this mission, for example, to me is the most daring hostage rescue mission in the history of hostage rescues, period. I highly doubt any unit in the world will carry out a mission like this. Not SAS, not Delta, yeah, not Team 6. And my respect to all those units. They're amazing units. I love guys from all those units. And I know guys from all those units. Hey, we're, they're we amazing all, people. We all we all work together. We all, yeah. all cross-train. I worked with IDF. I, I, they came and teach us for Young Rangers, man. We they, yep. Not just, I not just, <laughs> not just I, I'm saying IDF, you know, they're, well, those guys, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I love those guys. They're badasses, dude. We love them. They are. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, so this mission, guys, just to give perspective, you have four hostages, three held in one building, the one girl held separately in the other build in another home, and they were held in. By the way, they are held in wealthy Palestinian homes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, so the high, high upper class. Talking about like we were talking about earlier, who, who's all involved? You have the the you have the dodo at the bottom, but you also have the upper class, and they're the ones who are also pushing the propaganda. So one of the homes was a Al Jazeera reporter. Shocker. And the father was the uh, imam for the community. Yeah. So talking about about uh, 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 grooming and so on. So so this is the scenario, and the ones who are holding the hostages as far as securing those compounds is Hamas terrorist operatives. So they're doing, they're performing the security and it's not just the homes, but it's the whole freaking neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. The whole neighborhood is like Terraceville. Yeah. And, and so they, they do that on purpose because they know that we're trying to find our hostages and that if we do engage, it's like hitting the, the, the hornet's nest, they're going to unleash hell on you. And that's exactly what happened. So, Without getting into too many details of the mission, they went in, they got the hostages. On their way out, 50 terrorists eliminated by the hostage rescue unit itself. Wow. Not the security around. Not the, not the cordon the, security. Wow, just, nope, wow. not, nope. So those alone eliminated 50 terrorists while making sure that none of the hostages got hit. Man. Yeah. So that's in the first gun battle, first engagement, 50 dead, doom, keep going, right? Push on, push, 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 get the heck out of here. Then their, then their vehicle came under heavy fire and got, uh, uh, Wait, uh, how you call it? Disabled? disabled. Disabled. Yeah. Yeah. So the, so the main vehicle now is disabled. They're stuck. Plan B. And the plan B was what essentially ended up happening was the B line via another vehicle to the seashore and actually right adjacent to the U.S. Uh, floating port uh, disaster. And I did a special on that, by the way, a few months, a few weeks ago, I guess. I forget how long ago where well. I reported on location. And it just blew my mind because I was like, literally, I think about a week or two after that is when the hostage rescue happened. I'm like, no crap, dude. It happened like right there behind my back. <laughs> like that's where they ended up uh, with a with a with a with the uh, Blackhawk that took one of the uh, groups of hostages out. Um. So in that whole engagement, over a thousand armed terrorists, RPGs, light and heavy gunfire, thousand, over a thousand engaged with the soldiers, with the Yamam unit, with the hostage rescue team. And I think it was in the all end of that whole gun battle, over 200, uh, nearly 300 terrorists eliminated. Okay. And then the world media spun it as uh, X amount of civilians were hurt. And and how the IDF is horrible, and the Israeli government will d go at no ends and and no mercy to the Palestinians to carry out a hostage rescue mission when they could have had negotiations. Bull crap. Bull. What happened is the whole neighborhood and everybody there are involved in terrorists. The terrorists are terrorists, and the civilians are terrorist enablers, just like the family that were holding hostages in their homes. Maybe they're not Hamas terrorists, like gun, you know, uh, uh, fighters. But they are enabling the terrorists by using their compound, their home, to hold the hostages. Eating their food, their water. It's just like when we just remember at the beginning where we said support. We need support groups. Yep. to make Terrorists are the same thing. <laughs> they need those support groups, those enablers, those sympathizers. What, kill, what kills me, and yeah. liter figuratively and literally, it's that this has been the same shit that we have seen since 9-11, man. 
Yeah. They this yeah. is what they do, and they've gotten ber- better and better, perfecting their modus operandi, their techniques. Why do you think yeah. they melt back into the civilian population? Because they're trying to win the hearts and minds battle now, because they're never going to win the actual battle. They're going to get their asses kicked every fucking time.